Here, I'm going to play a little... Uh, you want to make me choose some tea? No, no, no. I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to do a little sound station. I need my tea. Hold on. Here, electronic urban. 95 BPM. Let's do DJ Spooky. Here we go. All right. I can't do it. There we go. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's it. Feel it. Feel it. Now is, can you hear me talk over the thing? I don't know. It's a test. But I'll stop. Uh, there it is. I can't stop it. Oh, there it is. There we go. All right, man, I feel it. The people are, oh, man, the people are plowing in. Holy cow, holy cow. We got an exciting show. And look, look, what! behold what has happened. We have a whole new cozy center here. <clears throat> the fire. Greg has his jammies on. He's got his, it looks, he looks so cozy. We got a whole new setup. How the heck are you people? Are you good? It is good to see you. Let's see. I think it's about time to get this party started. Let me, hold on. Let me, let me post this thing. Hold on. There it is. There. Did it work? I don't know if it worked or not. I don't know. All right. Whatever. Whatever. How the heck are you? What is up? Okay. Let's see. Do I have everything going? This thing is live. The fire is in the background. Everything is cozy. We got a whole new studio. <laughs> I decided. It's a little loud. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think that's a little loud. Let me bring it down. That might be a little bit better. I mean, how am I going to yell if my microphone is too amped up? I mean, come on, right? So, yeah, look at it. I got tired of the basement. I got tired of the basement. I, you know why? Because my my computer was down there. Oh wait, I'm not even in frame. There we go. I was I was down there. I moved everything down there. I thought it might be nice to be a little secluded, a little away from stuff. It was too secluded. I, I never went down there because I always wanted to hang out with the people up here. And so I just moved everything up. So we have a whole new fancy thing. And you know, and because of the holidays, a Yuletide fire. I mean. What else can there be? I mean, it's great. So how the heck are you people? Are you doing good? Are you having a great week? Do you feel in the Christmas spirit, those of you for Christmas? Though, you know, if you're a Christmas kind of person, are you enjoy are you ready? I like yesterday or a day before, I just pow, pow, I was in the Christmas spirit. But uh, so I'm ready, man. I am ready. Um, let me see here. One second. Let me, oh, look at there. Man, and but I'm not as festive as my man Greg. Oh, you are the best, buddy. Thank you so much. I kind of mistimed that. Did you get me like a different kind of tea? No, no. Are you like are you like the assassination uh, <laughs> clause? What are you what are you what are you doing? You don't look freaky at all. <laughs> Ah, oh my lord, oh my lord. So, I, I do, oh man. <laughs> you know, you might actually need less tea in your life. Um, you could also oh, stop breathing into their, I mean, it's not sexy. It's not, it's not. What do you mean? I don't know, the, the heavy breathing. Is this supposed to be a it's sexy kind of show? Creepy. It's kind of creepy, I don't know. I mean, heavy breathing a lot of times. I think maybe, maybe everything is a little off over here. Yeah, well, your half, your face is like not... You know, I don't know. Oh my God, 
What did I drop? Is everything no. okay? I don't think that fixed it. No. Well, you could move over this way. This way. There you go. There you go. That's the stuff. Look at there. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> ah, I tell you. So how are you, man? I'm pretty good. Are you oh, good? Sorry if that was loud. Do you like uh, Do you like our new our new studio with the fire? Do you, which do you like more? Do you like this or do you like the uh, downstairs in the basement? The the, the uh, um, <laughs> the it's death warm, chamber. It's warmer up here. Yeah. Do you know um, this is mildly has to do with marketing, web marketing? Have you heard of the assassination marketplace? No. Yeah. Does this have to do with Kim Jong Un? No, but he probably is in the assassination marketplace. Okay. So I was listening to NPR on my way home. You know, on my my commute home, my ten minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, they were talking about the assassination marketplace. And the deal of the assassination marketplace is, you might find it interesting, is that it is it is a um, completely anonymous um, private uh, community that is run through the Tor network. So it is it is totally encrypted. And the deal with it is that you vote on who you on on what politician you want to assassinate. And the deal of it is, what is up with the phone? That's the downside to being up here. There's phones up here. Um, you you donate to this using bitcoins to the assassination network and then when there's enough money raised by uh, you know to kill an, a particular um, politician how do they know how much it costs well what you do is you as the assassinator you decide um, at what point you're like okay yeah I'll kill him for that price okay and then you have to prove that you were the killer, um, and, and I think you do it by saying ahead of time when it is going to happen or something along those lines. I forget exactly how they mm -hmm. determine who the assassination person is, and uh, then you know you kill the person, and then they send the bitcoins to you. Okay, a couple of things. Okay, we got a couple of things. Okay, right. yes. First thing. Right. Is has this ever actually? happened or is this just like the rest of the Bitcoin thing where it's all just kind of like imaginary? Well, you know, it's interesting you ask, like the, one of the questions that came up in the in the discussion was, well, is this guy just trying to steal people's money, their Bitcoins? And uh, they, they made the case that this actually did happen with the Silk Road. Now the Silk Road was a, a again a Tor encrypted environment. So they actually has have, have assassinated no, someone. No, that's they what have my not. question. No, is. it's brand new. Hmm. It's like been up for like two weeks. Hmm. So. So this isn't ever going to happen. You don't think it'll happen? No. Why but, not? Why not? Well, because the only people who care about bitcoins that much are nerds, and <laughs> <laughs> nerds are way too lazy to kill people. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I mean. Aren't they technically nerds that go out and like do okay. these school shootings and now stuff? Now, if they now they could, I guess. If you got them enough code red Mountain Dew, <laughs> yes, yes, popped up off enough Twinkies yes. and yes. you know yes. Cool Ranch Doritos, yes. maybe, maybe. So what I find is interesting about this is that the internet is both. Um, I find, hey, bye. What? Tom Wang says, yay, can hear you. Yeah, nice. That's good. That's good. Tom, hola, Tom. Greetings from the tools. So, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> now I got all sidetracked because of Tom. He said, can I hear you? I think he said, I can hear you. Yeah. So, at any rate, I just, I, I think... So, oh, my point of that I was going was Christmas. That, well, yeah, almost Christmas time. But you know, I think that a lot of times, like we talk about the lack of anonymity online, mm -hmm. right? We talk about how 
you know, cookies are following us around and we're getting marketed to that's constantly. Why, that's why we're getting all fat. <laughs> that's the reason we're getting fat? With the cookies. cookies. Oh, there's cookies everywhere. That's true. I do love cookies. That was a little marketing yeah, humor. I like it. Nerdy. I that's nice. Extra that's nerdy. Nice. But at the same time, we have this other... Um, this other side of the internet that is very, very private. And um, let's see. So, so here I'll show you what where this is all happening. I'm not going to go over to the actual um, assassination marketplace, but I just wanted to show you this. That it's run through Tor. So, um, what what Tor is is it's it's a browser. Um, it says, what is Tor? It, Tor is a free software uh, and an open network that helps you defend against traffic analysis, a form of network surveillance that threatens personal freedoms and privacy. So the deal of it is that it is this very, it, it is something that that protects you, you know, if you want to buy drugs online, buy explosives online, or just you don't want to be tracked by um, the NSA. I use it for Facebook. You do. You do. When you're Facebooking, yep. you go through Tor. Yep. That's good, because we wouldn't want to know it was you posting to you. Exactly. Nice. That is smart. That's smart. Thank you. Thank so you. I think, like, and I, I think most people actually don't know about Tor. Like, I don't think that they realize mm -hmm. that there is a way to be a little bit more anonymous. Well, you know what I think? I think probably, maybe people don't know Tor specifically. Yeah. But I think uh, there are people who just always think that there's the seedy underground going on, and there usually is. I mean, yes. ever since I've been online, there's yes. always a seedy underground part yeah, of the porn web. Porn and you know, porn and hacking and yeah. you know stolen programs. And yes. Music. I mean, it's just everything. It's run the gamut. You know? yeah. It's just. Yeah. I think it's. Maybe now you're hearing like a lot about this kind of stuff strictly because like the stakes are raised so high. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. Or, so what do you think about Bitcoin? If people don't know about Bitcoin, are you a fan? Do you think this is ridiculous? Uh, what do you think? Well, I think it's made it easier for me. <laughs> to do what? Let me come back to this for oh, a second. Oh, yeah, I okay. It's, I think it's made it easier for me Yes. to make it rain. To make it rain. <laughs> up, in the, up in the club. With bitcoins. Yeah, I just made it rain Bitcoin right now. <laughs> it's like a party. I just you, do that. I can do that all day. All day. All day. Bitcoin. I mean, just like raining. Just, like I mean, oh. Do I you can, feel it I like get, you're taking oh, a bath in bitcoins? Yeah, it's just like I'm being pelted well, to death. Look, I by mean, my the own fact weight. of the matter is, the bitcoins are very private. Like they're very anonymous. It's an anonymous way of buying things. Not anymore. So you can't Not see anymore. Them. No? You no. want to make them public? I'm making them real. I'm, I'm thinking about yeah. minting my own Bitcoins. Well, they have that, actually. So, well, of course they At do. any rate, so I just, you know, um, I, I believe that you're going to see... One of the great things about Bitcoins is that it is outside of all government intervention. Oh, I thought the great thing was that they don't exist. <laughs> well, <laughs> does the dollar exist? See? Does it? I mean, does it exist any more than a Bitcoin? Well, yeah, so... Well, I, look, I can get you. I can get you a Bitcoin. Like so, so yeah. There you go. So there it is. I have a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Now, if yeah. you had a choice, yeah, and somebody was like, "Hey, Sage, yeah, you take a dollar, yeah, or you take a dollar's worth of Bitcoin, yeah, yeah. what would you take?" Well, I mean, why not take both? Well, because, because look, I'm only offering you one or the other. Mo uh, this is my well, hypothetical. I, guess I get either one. I yeah, you get, get either okay, one. You I get a dollar, dollar or a dollar worth of Bitcoin. I would probably, if, if I mean, if I didn't have a bunch of Bitcoins laying around, and I, you know, <laughs> like and, everybody and else. The, the, well, the thing about dollars right now is I can use a dollar pretty much anywhere in America. Yeah. And most people um, don't accept Bitcoins. You know why that, I wouldn't do the assassination network thing? Why? You know why I wouldn't donate my. Yeah, imaginary Bitcoin to that. Yeah, why? No. No. It's because I my luck my luck would be like I'd be like okay here's I don't know how a million Bitcoin yeah, or whatever I can right. see I can yeah. save large numbers because yeah. it's a fake and <laughs> and uh, and I'd be like here's a million Bitcoin yeah. you know who I want to kill hmm. Nelson Mandela yeah Kim and then and then oh. no. Like, oh, okay. And then yeah. he would just die naturally. Oh, and I and would be, be like, I'd be out with all yeah, my do money. Yeah, you get your money refunded? Yeah, who's giving yeah, that back? I don't know. Who's regulating that? 
Well, here is a list. This is um, this is a directory of people that accept bitcoins, and this is 1,675 bitcoin businesses. There's a hotel, um, the traditional, the the gentle point traditional Chinese medicine people, Wallaroo Media, um, House Taurus, they, they, vacant vacation apartments in Austria. So there's a lot of more and more people are accepting bitcoins, and I believe. It is something that we are all going to. Um, I'm not going to say next year we're going to buy things with bitcoins at Christmas, but I think in two years that I will. I will be buying. Don't you worry about all that. That's I don't know. That's that's probably the NSA. <laughs> I don't think they can hear it. But yeah, I do think that um, I think it's going to become mainstream because you don't pay taxes on it. You can buy whatever you want, and nobody's going to bother you about it, and uh, you don't have to pay taxes on it. You know what? I was going to get you uh, an Xbox One for Christmas. You were? Yeah. But I couldn't find anybody that accepted all my Bitcoin to buy it. Really? So I didn't get it for you. That's a shame. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That's a shame. I Merry Christmas. You, I bet you I could buy an Xbox One with Bitcoin. Yeah? I bet. I mean, yeah. I don't have any Bitcoins, <laughs> but I bet I could do it. I bet I could do it. At any rate, I just thought that this was this was in my you know I was thinking about this and I wanted yeah. to talk about it. I mean, um, just as a user, just as an online user, I think that it's um, you know there there you should know that there are ways to be anonymous mm -hmm. and you know and like with bitcoins you can anonymously purchase things with Tor you can anonymously surf mm -hmm. and so if you're you know as we're going to probably be talking about ways people are tracking us you know in marketing. These are ways that you can drop out um, without having to disappear from the online environment. You know, mm -hmm. so I, you know, I just think a lot of people don't know about them. I've been using I've been using ad blocker. Ad blocker. It's not the same. Yeah, it's not right. me surfing anonymously. Yeah, and how has that been? How's that experience? Oh, it's been so good. Are you serious? Like why? Great. Why is it good? Because you know it is. Because you start to see the internet for just what the reason why you're there on the internet. Like most people are not on the internet because they want to have advertising shoved down their throat. Yeah. I mean, I it's my job to shove advertising down people's throats, but yeah. like most people that's not why they're there. Yeah. And so I kind of like that. Yes. Um one thing that I probably love the most. Yes, yes, but is that like if I go over to YouTube? Yes. I don't ever have to sit through an ad before I watch my video. Really? It no, blocks that. You never have to sit through it. Just really? videos just start. So I really like that. Wow. So it blocks that. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, and yeah. then it does do websites look wildly different? No, they just look like their uh, their designs are a little cleaner. <laughs> a little cleaner. <laughs> do you block AdWords ads on Google? Does it do that? I you can set it to do basically whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. Um, I don't have it set to do yeah. that. So this is interesting. Like I know that people. Well, I stopped using Google. You don't use Google. I'm over that. What do you use? I'm I'm a big into DuckDuckGo right now. Are you really? No, no it's all right. <laughs> That's a search engine, um, and we've gotten some traffic from that recently. Very small. Have you yeah. seen that? Uh, a hundred million less, I think it is, or maybe uh, a million less. What's that? It's a search engine. Okay. And it basically all it does is it's Google. Yeah. Okay. There's no ads or anything. It's trying to make a point. Yeah. And you can do a straight search. Yeah. And it'll just give you your search results. Yeah. Just like it would over at Google. Yeah. And but then it has little three little buttons up at the top. Yeah. And it's like remove the top. You know, remove sites from the top 100 results, or remove oh. sites from the top 10,000 results, and yeah. then remove sites from the top million results. So you're and just it'll taking show the top you. 100. You're t just peeling off the top 100, top thousand, top million. No, you're 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 sucking like all the. It's like a, it's almost like an algorithm where it's like it sucks the junk out. Yeah. You know that oh, has been filled in through yes, the rankings. Yes. And. It's pretty awesome. Really? You get results that like are nice. Really? Like, what I mean, search engine is this? A million plus. I could look it up. I have it bookmarked on my computer. All right. Let me see if I can find it. Million, million plus search engine. Here. 
Let's see here. A uh, million short? That's it. Okay, Sorry. so let's take a quick look. Okay. Yep, definitely uh, some geek made this. Yep. This is the about. So, so just, let's just uh, okay. yeah, do a search. Search for um, how about uh, how about uh, fireplaces? And then it says don't remove any. So we'll do it that way. Is yeah. that right? Let me do a search. Okay. That's nice. This is clean. <laughs> this is really tidy. Huh. Uh, how about... Try the sage rock. Okay. Okay. Maybe I need to do something like... How about tires? No, I would did it on a ton of stuff. Really? See, it worked. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why it... Uh... Okay, so we'll just do tires. Okay, so here we have... Don't remove any sites. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this so, is that. And then you click on... Try clicking like 100 sites. Okay. Now, right. on the right-hand side... No, it's not the... Uh... I did it yesterday. Yeah. It's a little different. Yeah, that's like all right. Like on a... Yeah, do that. Sure. Okay. Yesterday, when yeah. I was doing it on the right-hand side where you see the white space, yeah. it was giving you the list of sites that it was pulling out. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. It's removing results from the top 1,000 sites. So is it saying there's that... A, if you go back to the home page where okay. it was before, Yeah. Like there's a little video here. Oh, okay. Explains there, it. let's watch. those things, it's pulling those out. So, for example, like if you search for a person's name or something like that, right? yeah. you'll end up getting, uh, or, or a company. So, like, let's say you, you did a search for your a company name, and there's a yeah. bunch of people who work there, and they've yeah. all listed themselves. They're all, the people that work there are all over in LinkedIn. They're all over on Facebook, and they've all associated with one another. Yeah. And you're just going to start, eventually, you'll start seeing all those people. Like, you yes. get into page 10, 11, whatever, yeah. the search results, and you'll just, just see all over that and over, over and over again. Yeah. And what happens then is, like, sites that are just have, they might have interesting or cool content or whatever, but maybe they're not optimized. They're just, you know, they're really low on that yeah. scale. Yeah. Like, you'll never see them because yeah. they're out they're out way out in the yeah. in yeah. the index. But it doesn't necessarily make them bad. They no, just no. can't like, compete with these massive other sites. Right. So for example, like, you know, our our company is Sage Rock. Yeah. You know, and there are other companies called Sage Rock. Yeah. Um and then there are Sage Rocks and in particular yeah. there's some giant geological survey I found on some university yeah. in, out in California yeah. and it's called The Sage Rock and, really? and there's paper about it and I'm just like, it's interesting to find that kind of yes. stuff, Yes. but it's very hard and tedious to do when you have all this just all the sagerock.com stuff or whatever. Yeah, all just all yeah. the stuff and yeah. so actually we're not in the top one million websites, that might surprise yeah, you. That is surprising. <laughs> so we that. don't get our stuff removed, yeah. but what you get when you when you would do a search for that is you just get a lot more of diversity in yeah. your results, so yeah. you still see all our stuff, yeah, and and people and things like that, but, yeah. but, but you also find all this other interesting yeah. stuff. I just like that experience. You know, one of the things I think is people just accept what 
Google gives them on the front, you know, the top page, mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, there it is. But um, there, there are a lot of other results out there mm -hmm. that are maybe being mis- or underrepresented. Mm -hmm. So, Sorry, you know, I, short com. I got I mean, us on that. Oh, I uh, love it. I think it's cool, man. Right, I mean, yeah. So, um, yeah, like, uh, hey, my dad's here. How's it going? And uh, the printing kingpin. What's happening, homies? Too cold out for your show? It's yeah, you know. Too cold. Uh, yeah, so now we have a fire. I don't know. This is fancier. It keeps us warm. Yeah, I feel cozy. Right? Can they hear it? I doubt it. But it does crackle. It's crackling. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, space heater under the desk. Also nice. Um, yeah, so this is nicer. This is a nicer setup. It's different. But, yeah, right? So, I don't know. We'll probably get bored and do something else some other time. I thought yeah. one thing we might do today yeah. is uh, actually talk about our topic. No. I know, no. I know. Come on. All right. I mean, that's so predictable. What is our topic? Exciting Christmas uh, camp ad, ad campaigns of 2013. Mm-hmm. Exciting, huh? I'm ready. I'm going to go right with the number one. Top, without a doubt, 100% number one. Does anybody guess? Can anybody guess? Oh, I can, but I won't. It's not Elf Yourself this year. No, screw that. Is and, that uh, still going on? I don't know. No, yeah, it's and that's fine. That used to be big. Yeah, Do you remember Elf Yourself? Yeah. Are you like, going to go to that? I want to see it. I haven't been there in a while. Elf, Elf Yourself. Oh, do they have an app now? Probably. Let's look at it. Okay. Um, when did this happen? When do you remember Elf yourself? Like when it? Oh, it's oh, been years. It's been years, but this was very, very viral. Oh, we could right? create web things right from our webcam. Oh, oh okay. we're using our webcam. Well, I got another one. Uh, I agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, I can upload from Facebook. Or which one is it? I could crash everything. I think we're gonna all crash right, it. All right. But at any rate. Uh, yeah, there we go. Deny. But yeah, so you just put yourself in there, and then you. Blah, 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 yeah, you put your make yeah. yourself an elf. And yeah, then and you, you can now you can do it on an Android send app. Send it as a little phone. e card or something. And do you remember how you found out about Elf Yourself? Do you remember? No. Um, I got an Elf Yourself email. Man, from that's, somebody else. Yeah, that sounds like. You know, because that's what you did. You like. Put your face you, on it. Yeah, and then send, send it, it around, and everybody's like, "Ah, oh, that's so hilarious! Oh my god!" <laughs> And then, uh, and then I did it, and then everybody did it, and, and then and I then, can't do it anymore. You know why? Why? I'm show the people this screen again. Okay. I'll tell you why. All right. It's not because I'm against old stuff. Right. I can't do it now because it went all corporate. Oh. You see over there in the corner. What was always Office Max? Was it always? Oh. But they, I was but duped. I would I thought say, it was some anarchist online um, movement. Oh no no. It was um, they they originated it, but it was just straight elf yourself, and there was very little um, Office Max yeah, I never branding, noticed, if never any at all. It until right now, and uh, but now they're like, for real people, go buy something at Office Max. <laughs> oh, great! So um, all right, so this yeah. is not the number one. No, all no, right. uh, but it was. Yeah. I don't know, five years ago or something. That's how like that. cutting edge our show is. Yeah. Let's talk exactly about some right. five-year-old yeah. crap Somebody everybody knows about. Somebody over here at uh, um, the Hangout said yeah. that they they said I don't know how you actually browse. How do you browse without an ad blocker? Yeah, right. Said that yeah, I think he said that Facebook is unusable. I lost the 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 uh, question. Right. That's but, right. Oh wait, answered questions. I don't know how people surf the web without ad block. Facebook is way more usable. It is better. And okay, so this is an interesting thing. I mean, there's a ton of ads. I mean, your second story at Facebook almost always is an ad, right? I mean, you go mm -hmm. over there. I'm like, done with Christmas, huh? That, yeah, was, that was enough. That was enough. But I'm I just jump right to in, see if I'm and I'm going to tell you the number one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh well, wait here. Actually, this is a pretty good experience. What I guess. Is? So here, um, all right, so here is in my timeline the fact that this is happening, the tools. And then my wife, she has a new profile picture. Oh, yeah, I'm Everybody the serial killer. Yeah. And then Mark Poirier, he had a baby. Congratulations. Actually, they're like, there's no ads. There's not a single ad on here. See? I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah. But Anyways, usually there is. There's usually an ad, second thing. And, um, <laughs> most, other, and, and most people avoid these right-hand side ads. I mean... 
And in fact, every campaign that I see when I'm running a side ad like this, it gets a lot of exposure, but no clicks. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody clicks on this stuff over here. But they do tend to click on the, the news feed stuff. So I think that we're actually going to probably see more and more of that as Christmas gets closer. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to start seeing, like, Walmart ads, and we're going to see Target ads, and um, Amazon ads, you know, and and um, and they're not going to be great, you know. They're not. Are, are you okay? <laughs> so um, they because I don't think there's a lot of finesse. Mm. You know, they're just like buy something. That's what we've been doing for a hundred years. We tell you to buy something and you buy it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that doesn't seem to play well. Um, so the ad I'm going to show people, where did you first, how did you hear about it? Uh, it's on like a news, news. story, yeah, like yeah. a news story. I haven't actually seen it on Facebook. Like I'm not seeing people share it. No, I, didn't I don't know why. Uh, most of the people that I'm friends with yeah. on Facebook, yeah. pretty much too dumb to use the internet, so it's cool. <laughs> Is that right? They can barely use Facebook. Not all of them. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it at all in here. No, no, no. We should post it because, okay. all right. I mean... Post it up. All right. So, I believe, I mean, it, it's got to be the case. So, um... Okay, got this all queued up? Oh, yeah. That's how I like to roll. Uh, you don't? No, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm, it's a miracle that I had anything. Okay. So the uh, deal is... Uh, this one says it's got the video. All right. Oh, that right one you've here. looked at before. Yeah, sure. Here. Let's just watch it right here. Hold on. They can't see it yet. Oh, good. Okay, here it is. What is it? Are you going to introduce it? I'm just going to show people. We're just going to watch it, people. Here it Enjoy is. yourself. It's a new feature. Good. Oh, sweet. Great I great. got it. Here we go. T'was a night before Christmas, and all across the land, the good folks of WestJet had a miracle plan. On the eve before flying, the guests were in their beds. Visions of traveling danced in their heads. While out on the runway, something secret had arrived. It was left in the lounge. It was a Christmas surprise. Oh, hello there! Is that... is that Cohen? <laughs> what are you looking for Christmas this year, Cohen? A choo-choo train? Ho, ho, ho! A classic! Do you like Thomas? So, so, so at this stage, yeah, just uh, so I understand, yeah, they've got Santa on a television screen, They're dressed in blue or purple or something, and they, which is the color of the airline, they, yes, who did yes, this, yes, and so the people go and they scan their boarding pass uh, on that package, yep. on that package, yep. And then, so that's pretty genius. It's pretty amazing. Because then, because they their know name comes up. Yeah, their name comes up. Yeah, and so, they know what flight they're on. So the thing about this is, I don't know if we should watch the whole thing. Oh yeah, that's just all right. Good. Okay, so okay, so let's just yeah. I mean, right there, that part alone would have been good enough. That's pretty good. I mean, you scan your thing and Santa talks to you. Knows your name. They have that actually at Disney World with Crush the Turtle. Hmm. Like you stand up there and like he can see you. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 awesome. See? That that right there would have been enough. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, I got it. All right, say. let's 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 continue on. What would mommy and daddy like for for Christmas? Big TV. Yeah, big TV. Oh, 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 oh. A big TV. You're looking fabulous. Oh, I need to. It's okay if you just want to stare at me as well. <laughs> what I need is uh, new socks and underwear. An Android tablet. Is that William beside you? And Cameron? <laughs> Some Santa boots. While the guests told their Christmas wishes to good old Saint Nick, West Jetters took notes and got ready to shop quick. 
it was a great rush with the two flights in the air to get all those presents. Not a moment to spare. Same boss bringing this children singing tonight. So, we think we're getting on the flight. They just told Santa what they want. Right. The West Jet is running around out there. They are like. And they are yeah. buying this stuff, they're and then they're going to take it to the destination, like yeah. when they get off the plane. Yeah. And the deal is, the thing about this is, is that they have to get this stuff through uh, security. Uh, I mean, there's, I mean, they got to buy this stuff. They got to, you know, they're live buying it based on what, and these people are in mid air. See, there they are. They're in mid air. Yeah. They run to the stores and then they fly, they bring it back in here and they haul it in. Mm -hmm. They run it through security. They wrap it. Oh, my Lord. Wow, it worked. Pretty cool. But was everything ready? We all had to wait for the moment of truth at Carousel 8. Dude who got uh, his got his underwear and under socks. <laughs> so I'd be like, I'm like, there he is. He's like, no, yeah, I need it. <laughs> Dude, it's snowboard. snowboard. TV. <laughs> got his socks and it's his life never expected what they asked of Saint Nick would actually appear. It was all quite a trick. A West Jetter would say it was more than mere fun. Miracles do happen when we all work as one. We'll give Santa the last word on this most special night. They went, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, so a much good great flight. That is, just, oh, oh, oh. That is just endlessly awesome. Endlessly, mm. endlessly awesome. So, and on top of that, currently, 19 million views. 19 million views. I read an article. They were talking about it. Yeah. And they said that... Typically, when when a when an airport does something like does a a, a commercial or something mm -hmm. like that, mid six figures, mid six figures. That's what they're they you know like I'm talking five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and they said that this they didn't disclose the exact amount, but that's how much they spend or how the, much well, they that's make. How, that, well, that's how much typically you spend. Um, <laughs> That's uh, okay. Uh, Katie, oh, no. we'll come back to Katie. We'll come back to yeah, Katie in yeah. a minute. Hey, Katie. Um, <laughs> um, the when you do a, a typical TV commercial, mm -hmm. the production, the guy said, is usually mid six figures, five hundred thousand dollars. He did not disclose how much they paid for this, this whole thing, but he said substantially, substantially less. Mm. Then he said that their goal was 800,000 views. They're like, that would be really awesome if we could get 800,000 views. We watched this yesterday, and it was, what is it now, 19 million? 19 million. It was 16 million. 16 million. 3 million more just today. Yep. I'm, I'm predicting 60 million views. Um, it's really, I, I don't know, man. I mean, this is well thought out. 
it was so put together. And the thing is, when I when I first heard about this, yeah, is uh, it was part of a news story. At the the news outlets are treating this like it's not an ad. Yeah, they're just they're talking. Not saying the latest ad from West. No, no, they're just talking about like this awesome thing that WestJet did, which yes. was giving all these people presents. Yes. Unbelievable. That is awesome. And it's an ad that's not an ad. I gotta really say, good. they're not the first airport to do this. I've seen airports do this. Mm -hmm. Local airports have done this. But the difference is, these people went all in. It wasn't like, oh well, here's a you know a gift certificate to uh, Chili's or something yeah, like yeah. that. This thing was this this could have gone wrong. Like sure. I mean, there was there was a lot of risk. Like they could have gotten the the names mixed up. They could have run into I don't know traffic j issues. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that I mean, could have happened. Yeah, but, but it they pulled it off. They, they worked their off. ass off. And then the other thing that I thought was amazing about this was how well this was videoed. Mm -hmm. This was this was professionally, I mean, this was not just a commercial quality. This was well shot. Mm -hmm. this shot, was, edited, narrated yeah. by Santa Claus himself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And then we go back to that thing that they had, that board, where Santa is, you know, answering them, seeing them, mm -hmm. and the scanner getting their name. Mm -hmm. That thing was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if if it was me, like what I would have done was, hey, let's have one of those in our airport. Right. It'll be fun. We'll have people go, and we can. Uh, and it would have been. Yeah. It would have been good enough. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, but it wouldn't have like, what, what they wanted to achieve wouldn't have happened. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most that you would have gotten was like somebody been like, oh, they got this goofy thing in the airport. You know? Yeah, that's it. And uh, so and and that yeah I mean maybe they could have recorded those on YouTube mm -hmm. gotten I don't know a couple hundred views yeah, sure, maybe. maybe but they did that and then like so it was just visionary mm -hmm. because then they're like all right we're gonna get that and then we're just gonna get them whatever they want mm -hmm. 250 people whatever they want see that's where my my thinking is is like when people talk online right now about there's a big lots and lots of talk about like gotta make great content. Yeah. And then they're like, well, what is great content? Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. You know, like how do how do I do that? How do I make great content? Yes. And well, m doing nothing is what most people do. Yeah. Yes. And that's not content. No, <laughs> doing that's nothing right. is not content. That's not marketing. It's nothing. Yeah. Yes. And then, but like. Having the idea and like getting like that booth, whatever, like yeah. a Santa talkie yeah. booth. Yeah, the interactive booth. That would be okay content. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe it's a little better than okay if you decide to take that and film it and try to market that. Yeah. So then you're talking like, okay, that's as average to yeah. average content. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about making great content. Yes. We're talking about delivering. Yes. That's like your goal is to hit that delivery level every time. Every and you're time. You're not always going to hit it. Right. It's you not know? always going to go viral. Not, not everything is going to go viral. I mean, very few things do. Yeah. But, In fact, you shouldn't count on it. Yeah. Well, and you can't count on it. Yeah. That's what the nature of viral is yeah. not that like someone decides yeah. that they're going to make something viral. That yes. doesn't I, yeah. 100% yeah. Almost never works. Yes. You know, I mean, yeah, yes. 99.9. That's right. That's right. Like the people decide what's viral. Yes. And and so that's not something you can plan on. It's something you can work towards. Yes. You can give them the right elements. Yes. You can do something that's great, but the people decide whether it's shareable. Yes. And shareable, that's what viral is. That's it. That's it. And so I commend them because they did everything right. They did everything right, good. and I bet you they had a PR component. Yep. I bet you they went to the media mm -hmm. and said, "Hey, I just want to let you know we just did this." You know, and that they and at they the, produced this fast too. Sure. I mean, they didn't. They probably produced this in the last couple of weeks. Sure, but you know, you can flip this around in your own company. Yeah. And like, whenever someone comes up with an idea inside of your company, like, yeah. you know, oh, we're gonna do this or that or the other, this sort of campaign. Yeah. You know, I really think like you. Sh I think most people shoot for 
good or average or even because below it's average because it's safe. Yeah. It's less work. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, like, you know how you feel when you've just done kind of like average crap? Yeah. Yeah. And you're just kind of like, meh. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what you're going to feel like. Right. And that's what people are going to feel like when they are part of it. Yeah. But I guarantee you that the people who are part of this. Yes. Feel awesome. Awesome. They feel awesome. Everybody. They're like, we, I mean, even if it didn't blow up like this. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, you could not, you had to have felt proud. It felt good. Yeah, yeah. So. And the other thing I want to point out about this is I feel like this has, like, we, we broke a barrier here. Mm -hmm. Like, like, we're like, all right, this isn't just a stunt. Mm -hmm. This isn't just some sort of kitschy little thing. This is. This is what social media wants, mm -hmm. you know, and, and this hasn't even been on Facebook. It's coming. Mm -hmm. You're going to see this on sure. your Facebook. It's going to be everywhere because it, 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 it doesn't just amuse you. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it cuts right to humanity and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and uh, you know, giving, literally, literally giving at, at a very high level. You know, and so I, I, I just think that, and and for me, like it's just a vision thing. Like mm -hmm. these people were not afraid, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I can imagine somebody pitching this to any company. I don't care who you are, Microsoft, um, whatever, any huge company. And this is not. This is only the second largest airline in Canada. Canada. Right. We're not talking United. We're not talking Southwest. Sure. You know, Canada, number two, Canada. And I guarantee the reason this stuff hasn't happened in those places is because that kind of stuff gets shot down. A lot of times. They're just yep. like, no way. We yep. can't do that. Yep. We can't we can't make that happen. Mm -hmm. That's too that's too crazy. I and saw I saw a Christmas ad yesterday. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's apocalyptic. Sweet. Uh, should we look at it? No, it's really it's not worth it's not even. That. Why was it's it? It's on T V. Okay. I would I don't know if it's online or not. Yeah. Well, because it signified something to me, and it was something I hadn't thought of before, honestly. Yeah. Thought maybe I'd never see the day this would happen, yeah. and then it did, and yeah. now I don't know why. Yeah. It's Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, you know Pillsbury I know Doughboy? Him. I know him. And he's at the airport, and he's going through airport security. Yeah. And every time they go to pat him down, yeah. it tickles him, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so it's uh, like whatever okay. annoying, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. And he's like, I'll do it better this time. And then they do it, and they're like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And then, okay, yeah. so you can imagine this yeah. stupid Pillsbury question. Yeah. And then a little jingle starts up. Yeah. And it cuts away. Yeah. And sitting over in the corner. Yeah. Are the two guys that sing the jingle for like. The, they do the little jokey jokes for the Geico commercials. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're sitting over there, and they're like, hey, Stan, or whatever the hell his name is. Like, hey, Stan, you know, what people like more than saving 20% off their insurance? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's kind of like a Pillsbury Doughboy in the airport at Christmas. And I'm like, holy crap, these two companies yeah. came together. Yeah. They did an ad spot together. Yeah. Pillsbury, Pillsbury and, Geico. and Geico, which don't have crap Anything to do to with do. each other. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I hope more companies don't start doing this. Yeah, uh, because that was oh, crap. That, was that crap. sounds it terrible. Was, it was not good. So, yeah, I mean, that's a stretch. It was a very They're harsh stretch. They were like, hey, stretch. you want to go in together on uh, some ad space? Yeah, Pillsbury? I just thought that was weird. Because we're not competing. Yep. We don't have anything to do with each other. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty crappy. So okay. I got a few others. Uh, oh, oh, wait, what? Katie. Yeah. I just Katie. wanted to let Katie know yeah. <laughs> that um, he got his hat at the 9-11 memorial. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and you, the what dollar about, store? What about me? I don't know. Those are My sparkly, hat? sparkles oh, yeah, in there, man. buddy. That's, that's, for the, that's, that's nighttime wear. No, you know what they are? Right there, huh? Bitcoins. Bitcoins. That's, what, that's why they're all shiny. Yeah. I don't know if it was Katie or CFM Consulting said, today Sage Rock Law is sponsored by WestJet. Oh, I wish. And that's the thing. That would be nice. Anybody. Anybody. I would work for what? A Kit Kat? I would work for anything. A I brought you a, a Diet Coke? I brought you a cup of tea. That was nice. That was. 
Today's Sage Rock sponsored by Greg, bringing me a cup of tea. Okay, you got Thank one? You. I, yeah, I got, and, a, I got and one. And then I got one. Okay. Um, let's see. Would you like... Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just cut to the, the one I like the best. All right. So is this here. one you like? I think I do. All right. I thought this was... This was this is this is a PR uh, stunt. Okay. And here, uh, <laughs> uh, hold on. Oh, good lord! That ad thing, that ad pop up. What happened to it? Where'd it go? Mm, you're on a different URL. Okay. All right. Hold on. Oh wait. Sign up. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Pick a different browser. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, the, the Financial Times. They're so stingy with their stuff. Or you can turn off JavaScript real fast. Hold on, Hold on everybody. This is going to be so worth it. Nope, it put a cookie on the whole thing. All right. At any rate, so they they made this this um. This is good. Okay. Uh, Colombian. Gorilla ad campaign. Let me see if I can find it in Google. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so oh, here's at. Well, oh, this is in 2011. It? Anyways, what they did was they they made these campaigns that are actually targeting um, gorilla fighters. Okay, and they're convincing them that they should stop. Fighting for the Christmas scene. So this one was in 2011. Christmas theme campaign in Colombia targets guerrilla fighters. Okay, you want to see it? Is this one of the ones you've seen? Uh, I haven't seen it. Let's just see. It's probably going to be somebody killing something. But <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here you go. Estamos haciendo una invitación super especial que hace la emisora del ejército nacional a todas las personas y esposas, madres de los que hacen parte de las FARC para que en esta Navidad les envíen un mensaje, un regalo, una nota, nosotros se las haremos llegar, invitándolos a que se desmovilicen y que vuelvan a casa. Quiero, no deje pasar esta Navidad, porque lo que su familia lo están esperando, desmovilices en la Navidad todo es posible. Wow, no he escuchado eso. That that's kind of interesting. It's you know it's it's targeting these guerrilla fighters to be like, hey, daddy, I wish you would get a real job and not kill people Come anymore. Come home. Yeah. We so. donated money to litter your water with our messages. <laughs> yes, I know. So I like that one. <laughs> that's cool. That's good. Um, and run by an actual ad agency. Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you have one? I uh, I sent it to you in your email. Oh, my email. Oh. Do you have that? Let's see. Yeah. All right. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Now this, um, this ad. A few years ago, Canine nope, Christmas nope. came oh, to me in a dream. Oh, you don't like that? What's the matter with that? It didn't work. It didn't work right. All right, back this up and stop it. Okay. Because I want to give a little bit more information about this. Okay. All right. You want to here? No, no, no. Okay. You, you flip it back. Oh, you want to see? Yeah, we're going to stare at the blank screen for a minute. Okay, good. And you just scroll up a little. So. Okay. All right, all right. All right. This is an ad. I want everybody to know this. Yeah. This is an ad from Nokia. Nokia. What does Nokia do, Sage? It's phones. They make phones. They're big. They make big. phones. They're yeah. big global it's not like Bob's phones. phone maker. And this yeah. is their Christmas ad called Canine. Christmas and right it, is, it, is, it is two minutes and 39 seconds yeah. of your life that you will never get back. Here you go. A few years ago, Canine Christmas came to me in a dream. Good boy, little Jackie. And I knew it was something that my doggies would love. Are you excited to see all your friends? Isabella, you want to wear your pretty party dress? I think my love for dogs is something that's in my genes. My great uncle, William Bodine, was the director of the most famous television show ever starring a dog. Can you guess what that is? I have my house decorated completely in all Christmas colors and lots of Christmas decorations. And I have Jack and Isabella help me decorate the tree and pick where each ornament will go. When the doorbell rings, it's showtime. Hi, everybody! 
Jack and Isabella and I get so excited when the guests arrive. It's like a doggy runway show. The first thing we do is gather around the living room. Here's your doggy cocktail. Lady, I only imagine this lady poisoning their eggnog. And then the entertainment will begin. Baby Banks thinks she's a dog. Baby Banks! But she's actually a P.I.G. And someone always shows up with a surprise trick. Okay, okay. Look, man, this... What happened here? What happened here? That was bull crap. That was like a grown-ass lady talking like a freaking two-year-old running around with yeah. having a dog party yeah. and nobody murders her. All right. That is the only way I could have justified no. that. And it's a commercial Nokia, the phone people. Even Microsoft does a better job shoving their shit in there where nobody wants it. They're, they're well on their way to 9,090 views. <laughs> 9 thousand views. I think if you just sent it to every Nokia employee, you could get to that. Not, oh, in this more. office, we're yeah. responsible for two of those uh, views. Okay, this is what I think went wrong. <laughs> I think this was supposed to be a spoof. Okay, you never... You, you think ever, it's like, a spoof? Okay, 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 maybe. Like, I'll, I'll, like, I'm, I'll give I, you the benefit you, of the you, doubt. You, you probably, like, put a joke out there once, or, you know, the, have you ever done... I've done this, right, where I, like, put no, a joke out, and, really like, like and they're like, oh, yeah. And then, as soon as you put it out there, yeah. you're like, oh, that, that didn't play well. Yeah, well, you, you know? always do that with I, racial stuff. I do, I love that. <laughs> so, but, so there, okay, this woman is terrible. <laughs> yeah, she's... Ridiculously She's terrible, horrible. But, like, you see these kinds of people on all these, like, these reality TV shows. My thought, initially, when I was tried to watch this... Yeah. I haven't made it through. I mean, the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. I, I, will, I mean, I made it closer to the end yeah. than this. Yeah. Does and anything come of it? Does, does nothing. Does she get killed? Does no. She, is she's like... What I wanted was a gorilla, not like a, a terrorist yes, gorilla, but like an gorilla. actual gorilla, like from Pootie like Tang, to come in and like maul her with a Nokia phone and be like Nokia Christmas, and I'd okay, be like, that would have been good, awesome. Yeah, but that did not happen. No, and so I thought maybe because nothing really happened, yeah. I thought maybe like I'm just completely the wrong demographic. Well, who is? I mean, they. Didn't... I don't know the Real Housewives okay. that well, need yeah, their yeah. gated community burnt down. So there I don't are know, people. Sure. You see, that's the thing. Like, like there are people. I mean, she's a genuine. She's. I mean, this is for real. Like, this chick is for real. This isn't. She isn't some actress. And so there are people like her. Mm -hmm. And so it could be real. For all we know, it's like the CEO's wife or something. You know. I mean, and I mean. This is like this that. Is so I would weird. believe. I actually had that thought too. <laughs> like this was like some guy was like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Mr. Bigwig, and what I really want is my wife here, which you wanted always wanted to be in the pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they do this, uh, but with the pig thing, I think it's meant to be a spoof. Oh, it was. But it is total crap. <laughs> I don't think that like and, and so and they spent. Money. This is also oh, this professionally, is professionally shot, shot, edited. Yep. It's got yep. voiceover. Yep. It's got like yep. the whole yep. nine yards. Yep. Uh, and yeah. Nine thousand views. Nine thousand views. I um. All right. How would you, okay? I like how you would have done it with the gorilla at the end. Yeah. That would have been good. Yep. Also, you could have mixed it with, um, maybe Slim Jim. Ooh. Like, you know, they, if you wanted to mix snap your, into a Slim Jim, yeah. you like put those guys together, yeah, Nokia like, and Slim Jim. Snap into a Slim Jim, Rawr. or something like yeah. that. You know, or respect the pouch. Yeah, is Macho Man guy. Randy Savage is he still alive? Yeah, I think so. You could have gotten him oh, in there. Oh god, he's going so, on my celebrity this, this, death pool list. <laughs> yeah, okay, any of that could have happened, but this is total. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just it's total crap. crap. It's total crap. Um, all right. Any last ones? Otherwise, we should get out of here. This is we're having two. Like this is you know, I mean. Uh, oh, the outtake video show is coming behind the scenes activity. Yeah, the video. Oh, some of the behind the scenes. Okay, so yep. Doug says. Yep. Oh, oh, Doug's got. 
Oh, yeah. you, oh, okay. There's, there's, an, there's the blooper video. Yeah, it's got so this is back to the West stuff. Jeff. Santa Claus is coming to... So here's the West Jeff behind the scenes. This alone has 918,000 views. Mm -hmm. More than their goal. Hello, Suzanne. How are you? Hello there. Hello, David. Jill. Brian. Hello. 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 If you could have anything, what would it be? I'd like a new car. <laughs> a new car. <laughs> a new car. <laughs> oh, I never get tired of that one. Oh, I'm lying. A big diamond ring. So now tell me, is there someone special you're hoping will give you this diamond ring? Yes? Not necessarily. Oh! <laughs> you just want the ring. <laughs> Aww. That was nice of you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not a miracle worker, Scott. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the Eastern Conference thing is killing me. Oh, oh, oh. She beside you right now. I wish she was. I'm right here. Yes. The dream is come true. I love you. Thank you, Santa. Thank you. Do you have a favorite color, Hot Wheels? Red. Oh, 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 oh. Can I interest you in a blue one? All right, these are good. Yeah, that's pretty this, good, too. I hadn't I mean, watched this. No, I hadn't either. So, yeah, these people, I mean, 918,000 views just on the bloopers alone. Mm -hmm. um, are they going to be able to do this year after year? No. You don't think so? I, well, they could. They could up it, but they're going to have to go bigger. They're going to have to do, I think, multiple flights. Multiple flights. Uh, I still think they could turn it into a thing where like people like look forward to this time yeah, of the like year. Like Oprah. On WestJet, yeah, yeah, and so they're trying to get their flight. Through WestJet yeah. because they're in like November. yeah because they're like well they every year they, they give this away stuff, stuff away and yeah. that would be awesome if we were yeah. the ones that got it yeah it is interesting that they did people did ask for crazy stuff mm -hmm. and they were like well so they did have a limit but yeah but they didn't I get mean, anybody a car but you know it seemed to me that the limit was maybe a thousand dollars yeah I mean so you know. That's pretty good. Yeah, and you mix the thousand dollars with the guy with the socks and underwear. And, yeah, you know, versus uh, bucks. Versus, I bet, I bet that ad campaign over uh, that Nokia. Nokia thing. I bet that was a hundred thousand dollar ad. Yep, hundred thousand dollars, nine thousand views. They didn't even buy any views. Not even gonna Anyways. sell a phone. Anyways. All right. Okay, We're everybody, out of here. you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, it was Katie. great to see you, Katie. Katie. Yeah. I uh, got it at Walgreens. Walgreens? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right. Okay, everybody. You have a great weekend. Um, Christmas is soon. It's coming. Merry, merry, and you have a great weekend. Uh, and we'll we see you next see week. You later. A fabulous Christmas episode.